Hi guys, welcome to the Nail Team YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave any comments below if you want to. Thanks very much, bye. Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing um, a tutorial for you using some of the glitters mixed by Lucy Fell from the Tropical Collection. So I'm starting off using my NSI Precision Brush and the Crystal Nails Colour Changing uh, Powder which is number 406 and it's red to wine. And I'm using this like a design powder so nice and wet, um, don't dry your product out too much. And I'm just popping it onto the tip of the nail and blending up towards my client's cuticle. Then I'm going to come in with Rose Blush, which is NSI's Cover Pink. And I'm going to come down from the cuticle area down the nail. I actually want this to sort of blend down. I want it to give an ombre effect rather than a solid finish. There's no smile line or anything on this nail. Now my second bead of Rose Blush. Same again, just pull it down working slightly wet because you want it to blend rather than be solid. And now I'm going to pick up some Blossom Bright Glitter um, which is these beautiful little flower shapes in these tropical colours. Uh, while my product's still nice and wet so all I'm doing is just popping those pieces of glitter onto wet product and then that's how they can stick down. So just using the tip of my brush to pick them up. Completely random, wherever you want to pop them. And then I'm using the belly of my brush just to press them down to make sure that they're nice and secure. So I'm now going to cap this whole entire nail with NSI's Crystal Clear. Starting from my cuticle area and working down. Now you can obviously see I'm working on a display tip but if you were working on a client at this point you would make sure that you build up enough product at the apex area. Make sure that you cap all that glitter because you don't want to be filing into that glitter you want to just be filing into your clear acrylic. So if you can see any bits of glitter that are still shiny just pop a little bit more acrylic on there um, and it should all have a nice matte finish then so you know you've capped it all. Don't be scared to back brush if you want to move that product further back. But your belly of your brush is your firm part and then your tip of your brush is what you use to move the product. So once you've capped that whole entire nail, let it dry and then you can go on to filing. I'm using a 150 grit file now that I'm working onto acrylic. Just to smooth the whole nail down and then white block to smooth a little bit more and get rid of your dust using your lush brush and then top coat with I'm using NSI's glaze and go and that's going to go into my combo lamp for 120 seconds because I feel that 120 seconds gives it a really good shine hope you enjoyed that video guys and any of the products that you want to be able to order, you can get them from www.thenailteam.com forward slash shop. Thank you very much.